This is ABC News 4, now in high definition. Making news this morning, Oakland under fire. Occupy protesters show their might there. Now the Holy City counterparts are ready to ramp up yet again. Then commission confusion, the bizarre turn of events surrounding a group meant to review those South Carolina speed cameras. Plus an ABC News 4 exclusive why bikers and walkers should stay off the James Island connector. Good morning, Charleston. It is Thursday now, November 3rd. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm John Bruce. And I'm Laura Harris, and we want to bring you some breaking news this morning. Laura, it seems we're paying more and more for just about for everything, everything these everything. days. Everything, including the basic things we need to live our lives. You name it. Gas, groceries, and a trip to the doctor can cost big bucks. We don't need to tell you that. And now, as Allison Kosick tells us, we're also paying more to take care of man's best friend. Yep. It's a report all new this morning. Whether it's a doctor visit for you or surgery for your pet, health care costs are going up. The American Pet Products Association says the average dog owner will spend $655 on routine visits and surgery this year. That's up almost 50% from a decade ago. Medical bills for our feline friends will run you $644. And that doesn't include kennel boarding, toys, grooming, vitamins, or over-the-counter medicines. Altogether, the pet industry in the U.S. rakes in more than $50 billion a year. And while the human health care industry is much bigger, the increase in pet care costs over the past Bless decade you. is similar on a percentage basis. Okay. But there is a flip side to the rising costs. The American Pet Products Association cites a number of studies that show owning a pet has health benefits for us humans. The group says having a dog, cat, or other animal in your home can reduce stress, lower blood pressure, and fight depression. I'm Allison Kosick in New York. All right, so there's plenty of reasons to get a pet, too. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, we might have one right here for you that Look you might want to take home. Look at that little guy. I'm going to introduce him to you. Coming right up. Laura Harris, hold on. We got a live one here. It's our <laughs> pet of the really day. Good. We're trying to get Patches calmed down. We're so excited to have Patches. Courtney, tell us about this cute little dog. Sure. So this is Patches. He's about three to four months, um, and he's a little bit of a lab mix. Um, we don't know what he's mixed with. He is going to be a large breed. Um, he was actually found on Folly Road. Uh, the fire department, a citizen actually called Animal Control, said they found him. And as you see, he has some scarring on his back here. Um, he actually came in with some type of burn on him. Hmm. I just can't believe um, it. And even though he was in a lot of pain, um, he was still very sweet. Um, and we had a foster home actually come pick him up um, probably early September. And she's been taking care of him. And his skin's growing back, and he's looking good. And as you see, he's ready for a loving home now. Yeah, and full of energy. He's not timid or anything like yes, that. Yes, he's he playful. definitely full of energy. Uh, she did state to me, the foster home stated that he's half um, halfway housebroken and he is crate trained. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. Um, and he's available for adoption at the Charleston Animal Society. And he is just adorable. Patches needs a family that's really going to take him out and play with him every right. day. Right. Definitely. He needs a lot of TLC, as you see. Um, and I also wanted to mention while I was here today, um, if Patches isn't right for you, we're going to have a lot of other animals available for adoption this weekend. This weekend, yeah. We're going to be at PetSmart in Somerville on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And there's also going to be five other organizations with us there. And we're all going to have um, lots of animals available for adoption. I think that Patches is just the cutest thing ever. I think Patches is going to go quick. Now, let's say that somebody, they run out of time, they're going to go out of town this weekend, they won't have time to go to the event this weekend. Where can they find you at the Charleston Animal Society and still come see the animals you have? Sure, we're located at 2455 Remount Road, and we also have lots of animals available for adoption there also, and hey, that's Patches. in North Charleston. Hey. Wonderful, and you're always, Courtney, looking for volunteers over at the shelter, right? Definitely, volunteers, foster, foster homes. Foster homes, yeah. Oh, um, he's a good case there. Um, and definitely Don't we need, need that patches. lots of foster homes, lots of volunteers, and just people to really come out and adopt and rescue a pet today. He's a beautiful He's dog wonderful. and needs a home. Thank you so very much, Courtney, for bringing Thank you. Patches by. We really do appreciate it. And hopefully Patches will get a home today. Yeah, all right. and all his friends at the shelter for this sure. weekend. Once again at the Definitely. PetSmart, right? Yes, PetSmart in Somerville. Hey, look, all right. he's like, please come get me. Patches wants <laughs> Somebody's going to get you, Patches. Thanks so much, Courtney, for coming <laughs> on. You. Coming up, why the new iPhone may not all be all it's cracked up to be. Mm, the next half hour, the low country. Yep, yeah, that's true, Patches. Patches the low doesn't like the iPhone. Hot spot. Leaders say can't survive without cell phone towers. We're back in a moment.